Hello my little friends. I'm the nature fairy and I'm back to introduce you to yet another wondrous aspect of nature. Today, let me become the plant fairy. Do you understand plants? Green in color, some with small and some with large leaves, some with hard and some with soft stems, some which bear flowers and some which bear fruits. When nature blooms with green color, it is such a beautiful sight to behold. Come, let's visit my garden again. Here you will find trees, plants, leaves and flowers. They seem to be non-living, but they are filled with life. These plants breathe, but not like humans. They inhale carbon dioxide and exhale oxygen. Yes, the same oxygen which helps us stay alive. Today, let us try to learn more about these kind and benevolent plants and trees. First of all, let's observe the various types of plants which exist. Here is a big neem tree. Here is a crawling creeper of pumpkin. Here is a hina shrub. Here is a bed of marigolds. And here are the small herb plants of mint and coriander. Here is a low flower. And here, focus on another tiny plant, grass. Of course, grass is a plant too. Of course, grass is a plant too. So, did you see? So many different plants. Trees are plants which are large and which have a strong... Smaller than trees are shrubs. Smaller than shrubs are herbs. Now, let's focus on trees. Some tree trunks are broad. Some are narrow. Some tree trunks have a rough surface and some are smooth. What gives trees their green color? Their leaves. Let us now pay close attention to the leaves. Some leaves are small, like those of coriander. Some are large, like the leaves of a banana plant. Some leaves are round, like the leaves of a lotus plant. Some leaves are sharp, like needles, and some broad. Leaves come in many shades, like yellow, red, and purple. And the green of different leaves is also different ranging from light green to dark green. When leaves get old, they start turning yellow and eventually fall off the trees. The surface of some leaves is even and some have a rough texture. Some have smoother edges while others are irregular. If we imaginatively put these leaves together, we can create some animals. Look, here is an elephant made of leaves. All right, children, have you ever noticed that some plants have a distinctive smell? With the help of an elder, collect leaves of plants like mango, neem, coriander, mint and basil. Now, smell these. Don't they all smell different? Are some of these leaves used while cooking at your home? Do ask your parents. Some plants bear flowers like rose, marigold and lotus. Some plants give vegetables like brinjal, chili and pumpkin. Some plants are laden with fruits like banana, mango and apple. Oh dear! So many kinds of plants with so many different uses. Children, now think. What all plants and trees have you seen around yourself? After going around my amazing garden, go on a walk with an elder and enjoy the scenery of Mother Nature. Do not cause harm to any plant or tree. But do inhale their fragrance. Take the permission of an elder before touching and smelling plants. And then revise today's lesson where we saw different kinds of plants. Some small, some big, some with broad trunks, some with small branches. We saw plants with different kinds of leaves and different fragrances. Some plants bore flowers, some fruits and some vegetables. Now you can easily recognize the different plants and animals from your surroundings.